Oh, hello, ladies and gentlemen, well, the two of you, how's it going? Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> no matter is shit, that is shit. It's awful. But then again, I mean, I've got a garden, so it's actually really nice that uh, that it's actually getting watered. So it's, that saves me work, uh, which I don't really like. So, uh, so what I want to do, right, is I want to. <laughs> I've got a front and one in the front and in the back, so which is really nice in the summer. You can just sit back, you know, and just chill in my um, jacuzzi, so it's actually kind of nice. Uh, uh. Oh, hi, Shira. <laughs> Smart ass. <coughs> but the garden is nice to me. You, you can chill and drink wine in there and whiskey and beer, so. It's Gucci. Um, so I want to keep on working on this scene, right? So, and I want to kind of fill it up with um, stuff. And so it's mostly uh, at first just plants and trees, uh, and then when you're done, you can actually add like more stuff like uh, fences, for example, to actually create gardens. So uh, if you want to, but you can also just not do that. Um, but I kind of want to do that. So but first, I'm going to delete this. Uh, so I've imported the um, book of the dead assets, which are actually really nice. And there you have some cliffs in there, some uh, hive tish stuff textures at all uh, you have some, fit and some vegetation you've got a lot of interesting trees in here and like dead stumps and it's free to use as well you have to keep in mind uh, like pines whole bunch of pine trees that you have here as well for example which are really cool see and they, they really bring the scene to life um, that's the cool part about this um, but the way it is right now we actually have to manually place them which is not that much fun so what I'm going to use is a uh, actual plugin, well not a plugin, but it's a package called the Polybrush, um, which is actually really helpful. So I can go here to Package Manager again, and Polybrush, <coughs> and install it because this gives you the option to um, paint meshes and scatter stuff, and it can be anything. That could be a tree, a bush, or plant, whatever. Um, so we we can paint trees with the with the, the, the terrain system. We can do that, but we can't paint like bushes and grass that sort of stuff because um, it's not, not supported in the HDRP from Unity so that's why we have to do it manually uh, which is not that bad but you know it can be raw time because you've been placing 1000 bushes by hand um, I'd say that's a job for an intern but I don't have any interns here right now so that kind of ruins the entire thing and uh, you find them in here uh, tools polybrush and then polybrush window it's actually really nice you can actually uh, do multiple things with this you can paint like actual sculpt your entire your, your meshes for example um, you can do anything with this right so you can, you can paint it for it paint it uh, you can also just texture this as well and so it's, it's really nice you can actually do a lot of stuff with this so definitely have a look at this uh, it also says you what it actually is so smooth mesh sculpt on meshes in this case and then you can also say yeah, what do I actually want to sculpt here um, so I have to grab this one you can actually sculpt on this uh, I'm not doing want to do this right now and this is the smooth mesh Paint vertex colors, we're not going to do that. And scatter preview, this one I actually want to use. So, what you can actually do here is well, there's a default one here, but you can actually just paint stuff on this. But first, I just want to walk you through the stuff that's actually included. Um, so, let's take this one. Could add a new palette here. Yes, sure. That you can actually use uh, this one. And then you can drag prefabs in here. For example, I'm gonna pick a tree and I'm gonna pick a tree, tree, just drag it in here, done. Um, this is really nice. So you can actually change here the scale as well, the frequency. Uh, you can actually have like this different scale every time. Oh, oh hi. On the Y axis, for example, I don't wanna have it on X because that would look stupid. Um, but like on Y, for example, you can also have it randomly rotate in certain directions. Like this. Actually, I probably only want to do it on Y. I'm thinking of it. And this one here as well. Uh, there we go. 
now. So, okay. I'll paint this bad boy. Okay. So, in here, right again, you have your uh, trees, for example. You have grass in here as well for finding and transfer so dead trees if you want to have dead trees in here. Including uh, colliders, everything is actually attached to this. You also have cliffs, which are really nice actually. So you have like detailed cliffs here, so no, a flat rock. Like this one, for example. This vehicle just to break up your um, terrain, because by default this just does, will not look that good. But if you just add one of those in between so here and there, you actually create this really nice field width. So also this one's over here are really good. So you have this actual rock thingy. That you can actually just place somewhere. I tend to use these for like breaking up my hills that I've created and using terrain because it's always not that look good looking. By just adding these here just to break up the actual uh, geometry here and there. Want to create a nice looking terrain here. You can also have this one here as well. Oh, I should probably use the actual prefab. Oof, it's huge. Again, these are free, so definitely use them. Um, it's to your advantage. There you go. So you get a nice looking rod. You can find it on the asset store. Um, if you go to asset store, I'll show you. Give it a second or two. There you go. And then if you just look for book, uh, book, and have a free assets here, you'll find it up top here. So book of the dead environment, environment. Uh, so it has trees, rocks, stumps, tree stumps. You have uh, roots in here as well. You have a, a complete cliff in here. You have Yosemite cliff, for example, uh, which is used like as a backdrop, usually like this. This is a really nice backdrop, for example, if you want to create like a mountain range. This is something you can place in the background here, for example. I'm going to place it here. Just make it really huge. Really huge. Make it like, you know, it just gives you a nice looking backdrop here. It's very simple to use. I can even make it bigger here. I'm going to load it down a little bit as well. But it's nice to play here, you know. You just can barely see it, but it's there. Maybe a little bit higher. There you go. Now if I play, right, um, see it's there. It's very simple, right, and it just adds to your scene. So if I go here, you know, you can actually quite see it well. It's actually a really good mesh. Just don't come too close, because then it just breaks. Um, but it does look really good. And then you get this easy backdrop for free, so it's always really good, right? So there's Cliff here. You also have external content here from Crixel. Quixel is this um, mega scans company that actually had they scan actual objects and turn it into into 3D, which is really nice. But you have like a forest here, so you have uh, a shrub, for example, here. It's just a, just a plant here. I'm gonna zoom in. Nice looking plant, you know. They're really nice. You also have twigs, a bush twig, you know. <laughs> uh, clover fields, like a patch here as well. Dead grass, grass, ferns, those are really nice as well. See, you got nice ferns here. So, now you can say like a stick girl. Nice ferns you have there. Green bush. Uh, also, things also like a red bush as well. So, there's this plant here. Oh, plug this one. There it is. Some more grass here. Lots of grass actually that you want. So, there's just all of a sudden you have grass in here. Like this. And it looks really nice. So I'm gonna delete this, and then you also have like spine, like this sort of stuff. You know, it just helps with selling the entire uh, scene here. There's also a mega scans here as well with rocks. So you also have rocks in here as well, so free rocks as well. I'm gonna drag it in. I just have this bad boy over here. I'm gonna undo the rotation here. You know, it's just simple. Just add it, just. Drag it in your scene and it will, it will look good pretty much anywhere you place it. I'm gonna place it here probably. That's pretty good. You also have one over here as well. This is the, just for like a road, this is perfect for example. See? It's just so cool and it's, it's so easy to use. 
Just drag it in there, maybe a little bigger here, maybe a little less in the ground. And there you go. You have rocks everywhere. There's also one here as well. This is called the granite. It's a big rock. Uh, in case you want to have a big rock in your scene, could be. Yeah, no, this is a, a Quixel, right? Uh, it's Quixel Mega Scan, uh, but it's it's actually in the uh, Book of the Dead assets, so it's it's there. Um, but it's from uh, Mega Scan, so they actually scan actual stuff and turn it into 3D, which is really nice, of course. It's this bad boy here as well, it's just a simple thingy. There it is. It's good though. Uh, and some wood here as well, so you have a wood log, for example, a branch. Just a branch, literally it's just a branch. Um, this is really cool. So this pile of stuff. But this is nice, for example, near my riverbed. It will actually work really well. So I'll place it here. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect though. I just leave it a little bit to the right, there we go. And it just sells a little bit more, you know. So this is a wood log. It's a log of wood. That's why we call it a wood log. Uh, more wood. Wood. So these are. I said this is a dead tree. That you can find somewhere probably. And this one here as well. It's just they look really nice to be honest. So. Uh, but first thing I want to do is I want to just add like. The big ones, so trees, for example. I'm gonna add some trees here. The first ones I just want to do manually, because uh, then you can place it where you actually want it to be. Because with a brush, it's always a little bit like guessing where it's gonna end up. So I'm gonna go for my generic stump here. I'm gonna, actually, no, I'm gonna for my pine trees, and I want it to be to be full. Uh, so I'm gonna do that. So maybe it's, there's gonna be one over here. Maybe at the center of the town, if that makes sense. Big tree. And I kind of want to have like this side here free, so you can so you can always see the church from this angle. So I kind of want to move it though, because it's now it's like blocking my view. So this is this is actually pretty okay here. So look down here, see it's pretty okay. So so you want to make sure that in this case, right, my church is the center point or the um, what we call a um, landmark. So that's one the part that you that you can always um, recognize where you are in, in the level or in your scene. So, but just make sure that you, that you don't obstruct it with stuff that you like, hey, I think it's over there, but I'm not sure because there's a tree blocking my view, you know, so you want, don't want to have that. So make sure that your uh, landmark is always visible from any, any angle. I'm just going to add some trees in here. I'm just going to throw them in there. Oh, it's a bit tiny. Just add them a little bit randomly at first, so I kind of want to have one here, it's probably here as well, and then I'm going to look back to my actual camera angle, maybe one over here in the back will be cool as well, so I'm going to do that, I'm going to find one, uh, I'm just going to pick one, this one, and then this one again, and then that one, so I'm just want to fill up my view right now, at first, so from a camera angle it has to look okay, so right now the, the one here in the back, this one, this actually looks really nice. So this is hint of a tree over there, which I think is really cool. Maybe one here at the back as well. So let's do that. So behind the church, I'm gonna add one more here. Let's go for five. Let's go for six. Six. Oh, it's tiny. Well, can we see it from this angle? Yes, we can. See, it's there. Subtle, but it's there. Same thing here. So I'm gonna add a bunch of them. Not these ones. Those are dead. And I'm not too worried about the scale at this stage. I just want to add them in there so I can see what it looks like. Maybe just occasionally, like also like a little bit of a rotation here will sell it. This is double one. So I can imagine that they want to have like this nice tree next to the church, you know, because I don't know why, but I think I think they want that. Maybe there's like this really tiny forest thingy here. Forest thingy. Some trees here. A little bit more. There's a tiny one because it's new, because it's still a baby. You know. Go back here. So we can see the trees in the background here, but this part here is still really boring at, at front, right? It's really boring. So I want to add like small stuff there, like uh, ferns, for example. But maybe I also want to have one like here, probably on this side as well. So I kind of want to see if I can actually get this to work. Not this one. This one. That's yeah. This one. It's a really weird one, but things gonna look okay. Mm, 
just looks both cool and wrong at the same time. So I kind of like it that there's something in here in, in, in screen, right? So it just breaks up a little bit uh, the office composition, which is really nice. But it's so weird that it's there. Such a weird tree. Maybe a little bit more like a little bit smaller, maybe. Then I can't see it anymore. It's uh, here. Oh, that's actually kind of cool. It, it creates this natural frame that's actually kind of nice. Oh, forward. So this is ma this makes like a frame, you know, actually kind of like it and uh, not at the same time, but I don't know. We'll see what we do with this thing. Maybe over there. I'll leave it for now, at least. Does this make sense? None, but it looks cool. Maybe I'm going to place one here, here as well, next to the house. Maybe this one here as well. I think this one will actually be visible from my camera. Won't be. I'm just placing them from my camera from a camera on, right? In this case, so from over here. So I, I kind of want it to be visible in this case, because uh, I'm just going to look just looking for a, a pretty picture. Uh, that's why I'm going to add it here, so you can see it behind it. And if I let play, I mean, if I play, I don't really care that you can not see it or let's go on and the houses because I can just move the house I don't really care but this actually works out pretty well accidentally and it's pretty good so let's be organized here again so I'm gonna make a new folder in here I'm gonna call this trees I'm gonna find all my trees here not my rocks but my trees trees from in there trees and one here as well that's gonna call that one rock you will have to do this of course but I kind of like it I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna call my wood logs uh, rocks as well so good for them they've been upgraded I suppose this is pretty good though uh, a little bit boring here maybe maybe we can add like plants over here not like not necessarily trees because again I can't I don't want to block my church viewpoint right because this is still here and I want to be visible so if I add one over here like a big tree for example I'll show you so if I add one like over here that I think will look really good I will actually block my landmark so I kind of want to avoid that so you can have something in here that's small for example like this this is okay right because then it's still visible at all points again this tree looks stupid but you want to make sure that's always recognizable that this is your your landmark or your main thing in your actual scene Keep that in mind, so then I'm gonna go maybe for some plants. So first I'm, first I'm gonna do like the riverbed over here, so I kinda wanna have ferns. Because it always looks good. I think was this this one? Was it this one? Uh where are you again? These are not the plants I'm looking for. Force pixel. Ferns. I want to have ferns because they look pretty and they break up the uh, the ground so the, the, the thing to keep in mind when you're actually um, texturing your terrain right at some point especially if it's like something on surface it will be covered with stuff and that can be plants or that can be rocks whatever uh, so don't spend too much time on it so because it, it, it will be covered at some point by something and, it, and if you spend like four days working on something that will be covered by a simple plant then it's gonna be kind of stupid right so make sure that you don't spend too much time on small details that no one can ever see or never will see because that's just a waste of your time. Uh, so keep that in mind. Some ferns here and there, I'm just adding them. And I'm just creating a like, random rotation here as well. Oh, the sun is shining, holy shit. So this nice coverage of the actual Maybe here, a little bit more, here and there. Now and then in game view, you know, I oh, hope you can see it. The sun is shining directly on my screen. God damn it. This is pretty good. Um, it's a little bit boring though, but be, we'll get to that later on. Then I'm gonna add a couple more here and there, it's just, let's fill it up a little bit. Maybe one here, here. Nice looking fern, maybe one here as well. 
this is random right I'm just throwing it I'm just throwing them in there and see where they stick because it doesn't really matter if it's like physically accurate because I don't really care that much maybe I'm gonna add a bush in between there we go uh, here nice bush that sounds so wrong on so many levels but push a couple more and again I'm just I'm doing this manually so I can actually like exactly place where I want them to be and uh, that's the advantage of doing it manually and then once you're done you can just fill it in with the brushes but first I just want to have like this uh, exact well, not a science but I just want to have control of where they're gonna end up so that will just that will always look better than just randomly placed stuff in your scene that will never look that good. Maybe a red bush here as well. There we go. Pretty. And I'm just kind of like uh, following the actual path that, that I made. Uh, just to emphasize on the path. Like, hey, there's this really important path over here. Let's just follow it, you know. Uh, that's why I'm kind of doing this. Just just an emphasis on that it exists. That the players should probably follow it. Bush here as well. Let's have a quick look on play. See what it looks like. Looks okay. Still a little bit empty. But let's get. I think this one's floating. <laughs> floating bush. Probably want to fix that at some point. So what I'm missing here, right over here, is a little bit of height. Right, there's a little bit of height over here. Everything else, there's there's, uh, there's a lot of um, vertical stuff going on here, like trees and choose here as well but then here is it's empty it feels empty so uh, i kind of want to add something in here that's a little bit higher but not too high of course that we don't block our landmark again but a little bit more something in here that like hmm, stands out so this will be a great place to add something like a well for example so i'm going to find a well i probably have one here or there let me find a well probably there are a lot of wells uh oh, i think one uh, yeah I'm just find a well real fast. World. So I've got a whole full of props here, so I'm gonna add them. Might as well. World props. I'm just gonna import them real fast. Should not be too big. There we go. So I've got a banner here, a uh, barrel, cart, a lantern, market stand, statue, etc. It's always good to have right, a statue. Tree light, tree log, and a well. So first I'm gonna add a well here. I'm gonna place it right over there. See now it breaks up maybe a little bit towards to the right here. If I'm using this, the, the camera angle, maybe like over here maybe. And then I'm gonna push it down. Maybe a little bit. That direction. That's nice. Now it just breaks up a little bit and a little bit, a little bit forward here as well. There we go. Okay, I don't care that this bush is going through it. I'm just going to hit delete it. Let's add the textures here. So material. Uh, well, this one. So I'm going to do a trick again. So I'm going to convert it to standard. It's going to give me a lot of weird stuff. I'll throw in my textures over here. I'm going to make it white. Otherwise, you get discoloration. Occlusion. Metallic smoothness. No, I'm gonna pick my material and convert it into a HDR. Puff, done. Better. So maybe I can change a little bit in terms of the smoothness a little bit, maybe. Maybe a little bit too smooth. There we go. Let's have a look. To kind of close. Looks okay. Uh, the train right now is a little bit off, so I probably want to move it a little bit higher. I also want to add a collider over here, so I'm going to add a cylindrical collider or a uh, capsule collider over this, so the player can't like walk through our well because that kind of defeats the entire purpose. Uh, there you go. So I'm going to maybe a little bit on the Y, a little bit lower. There you go. So we can't actually walk through this. 
because they're kind of defeats the entire purpose. So maybe I'm also going to add a barrel straight away as well. So next to the house here, I would imagine that there's a barrel for those dudes because they also have to lift. So same thing here. I'm going to grab my material. Probably this one. Same step. Standard. So the, the textures are made uh, through the old school way of texturing with uh, the standard PBR method and not the ACRP method. So. <laughs> Mad face real life. I have no idea who you are. You you could be the the queen of the Netherlands of uh, for I don't know. That would be so cool though, but probably not. Mad face. I have no idea. <laughs> Super shiny. A little uh, little bit less. A little bit like a smidge smidge. There we go. That's better. But let's add more of those barrels because I kind of like them. So I'm gonna place one here as well. Maybe just one fall over because that's what barrels do. They will fall over. Because they're stupid. There we go. And it's just like it's just filling the scene up, right? It's just filling the scene with stuff. Uh, so it, it and it, but it kind of has to make sense, though. I mean, you can't you can't add like a car in here because that won't make any sense. But like a barrel does actually make sense because it's part of the style so i'm gonna add more here as well i'm gonna find my barrel again this bad boy barrel one one half here as well i don't like this one that much so i'll leave it a little bit over here that's pretty good actually it's not too bad it's not too bad so I also had a statue, do you want to add a statue? I don't know where to add a statue. I, I, it would look cool though, I just don't know where. I'm just going to place it here, then I can always have a look at it. Statue, I'm going to do the same thing here, materials. Probably this one, it's not. Statue on one, okay. Oh, this is already ACRP, nice. Hmm. Do we like it? I don't like it. I don't like it. No. No, I don't like that. Let's not do that. That looks stupid. So maybe there is a market stand over here. Because that's what they do, maybe. I don't know. Let's add one more. So it has a neighbor, so it's not perfect though, so I'm gonna. Slightly just so slight offset here on the rotation so to make it not less straight. You also a little bit of offset here on the position itself. So you kind of want to avoid these, these perfectly al aligned things because that doesn't make any sense. Uh, we can't see them though, it's not bad. So maybe we can also add a lantern. Oh, ooh, street light, that's always good. Street light. Street light. It's a tiny street line, so make it a little bigger. Now it's a really big street light. Mm, that's smaller. There you go. Again, this is also just to emphasize that there's a path here, right? It's just a clever way of giving you play like a hint, like, hey, maybe you want to go here. Uh, especially if, uh, for example, like games like, like Doom, this end to the actually really well. So, what they do, right? So, I'm going to grab my. Oh, Street light here. So what they do is they actually add a light, like a point light here. I'm gonna do it as well. I'm gonna make it super, super present. And when they wanna wanna guide you somewhere, like hey, you should go over here. What they do what they do. They just just make it green, All right? And then they know, hey, I should probably go in that direction. And if they're like, hey, you should not go here because this or this ways blocks whatever. They just make it red. And then you can't go there anymore. It's super clever. It's, this is a, it's, it's like a classical uh, level design thing. By uh, using lights, you can actually guide the player like to to go in a certain direction that you want it to be. In this case, I can say, okay, I want to have the player go in this direction here, so I'm going to add light over here as well. For example, I'm just going to just roughly place it. And maybe I want them to go over here, for example. Right. So then when you start playing the game, you're like, hey, I'm going to play the game. Cool, it's good. 
Hey, there's a green light over there. Maybe I should follow the green light. Oh, there's one over here as well. Maybe I should go in that direction. And then you get to the point where you actually, sh actually should have to be, right? So just adding a point light. Uh, or just light in general with a certain color can guide someone to go somewhere. It's really, when you think about it, it's, it's, it's kind of creepy that they can um, predict how you're going to behave in, in the game. Because that is actually really easy, and uh, those predictions, because it's just common sense, and it also has been researched. So they they know what to do to make you do something, uh, which is kind of <laughs> kind of cool when you think about it. So okay, let's have a quick look again. Oh, can I play real fast? Nah, it's getting there. It's still a bit boring over here. Still, I think it's a little bit static though. Feel static, but what we're gonna do next week probably is have to let the grass wave in the wind. I'm gonna close the curtain real fast. This is really annoying. One second. Oh, fucking sun. It's annoying as hell. Uh, what? So next week I'm gonna I'm gonna make a shade on that. Actually, we'll actually move it. If you want to zoom in real quickly, you can also swipe mouse button. Oh, that's cool. I, I, I just fly, you know, I just fly in the direction that I want to go. But again, you know, it's just preference. Preference. I'm gonna find a bush over there. I'm gonna delete it because it's stupid because it's flying through the air. I don't want that. It should be probably a little lower. Got the idea that there's a little bit too many ferns here. Uh, it feels out of balance, right? Because when you look at it from this point of view, um, right now it feels a little bit better. But you want to have like this um, distribution almost of stuff in the scene. So so you don't want to have like one point which, which is like really cramped with all kinds of stuff and then the rest is empty. So you want to find a balance almost between um, not uh, not enough stuff and too much stuff. So you want to find a balance. So you want to have like like this evenly distributed amount of stuff. But this is okay now. That's actually better here. Still here, like this part of here, still a bit, feels a little bit crowded. So I'm gonna leave one of them a little bit better. What you can always do, right? In this case, because this feels really boring, right? It actually feels boring so what I can do here as well I'm gonna turn off my water for a second here goodbye and I'm gonna add rocks um, so again the environment and then I'm gonna go for rocks probably not this one no I'm gonna go for the other one cliffs probably rock six yeah. so I kinda wanna add these in, in, instead Gonna make it a lot bigger. See, this feels way, way better. It's, it's also not that round anymore, the actual edge. So now you got a really nice actual rock face. So I'm gonna just duplicate this bad boy. I'm gonna rotate it a little bit. A little bit more, actually. There we go. See, this feels way, way better. This feels way more interesting a boring rock type maybe i'm gonna pick a different one here let's do oof, sweet jesus that is big nice i found my water again where's my water there's my water maybe i want to lower it down a little bit so I, I could show off the actual awesome rocks that we have made just don't look at look at the water right now we can fix that last week or next week because uh, this looks really ugly and I can't change it right now. Let's see, I cannot make it more transparent, can I? Nope, I cannot. I'm just gonna turn it off. I'm just gonna. There you go. This is a little bit more interesting, right? The actual rocks. Um, again, these round surfaces, they're not that interesting when it comes to like anything. And uh, like this side here looks really boring. This side looks interesting because there's stuff breaking up the actual shapes this is boring interesting boring interesting so you want to find that sweet spot 
same here, right? This is still really not that interesting to look at, so I want to add more stuff in here. So I'm gonna go for the this one. I like this one. Just gonna add it, make it big. Come place it here just randomly, and just gonna blow it up. Maybe a little bit too much. Maybe just blow it down a little bit. This looks awesome, but also very impractical. So I'm gonna make it a little bit more here, probably. Still very impractical. What if I do it here? A little bit higher. There we go. See, and then it just breaks the boring surface instantly. Because there's no stuff here, you know? It just breaks the, the boring stuff. It, and it just makes it look interesting immediately. Nice. We're getting somewhere. This part here is also still a little bit boring, so I'm going to do the same thing here again. Just going to grab it, make it bigger. Just place it randomly somewhere. I don't know where yet. Make it a little bit higher. Done. Does it make sense? None. Does it look awesome? Yes. And that's what what it's all about in the end, you know. Is it cool? Yes, then do it. If not, then don't do it. Okay, this is a little bit stupid. This is a little bit too much. Um, I think I might have overdone this a little bit. Just a little bit down. What if we can just like... Hmm, a little bit smaller here. Maybe a little bit more. Which make it a little bit higher. There you go. I kind of like this. Ish. A little bit. So our well is blocking our... So I'm going to move it a little bit. There we go. Let's see one more time. Let's have a look. It's more interesting. It's um, It still feels dead, right? Because there's nothing moving right now. So it feels really dead. Um, that's something that, that we can always address later on. Um, but right now, you know, it's, it's, it's all about filling the scene with stuff. Um, that will look good. Just want to see how many frames I got right now. It's still 200, so that's actually not that bad. So on screen, I've got 1.3, 1.2 million triangles. Nothing, right? It's nothing. When you start getting to like 10 million, then you know, then you have to worry about stuff. But right now, 1 million. Who cares, honestly? So I'm gonna make a new folder here again. Let's call it props. So I want to add all stuff in here. So I'm gonna make one called props. And my barrel is a prop. My mug stands probably well, well, okay, but, uh -huh. Street lights, street lights, just do that, all props. And I'm gonna make, my rocks gonna go into my geo rocks. And my, I'm gonna make a new one here again. It's called foliage, 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 if you're French. And it's just gonna be foliage. So plants, that kind of stuff. There you go. Quick look. Feels okay, right? It still feels a little bit empty, but the rocks are kind of, you know, a little too much probably. That's a little bit better. You can, I still want to add more stuff in here, but there's also going to be stuff like um, like fences. So you actually want to have like like this border here for it, so it actually looks like an actual town where people live in. But you know, this is actually getting somewhere. Uh, this actually starting to look pretty good. Maybe we can add more barrels here and there, but overall, it's pretty okay. But still, it feels it feels dead because there's there's nothing moving through the scene, right? There's nothing actually alive, if you know what I mean. Well, that's something that we'll address, of course. But so first thing, just fill it up. Maybe I have a fence somewhere. Do I have a fence somewhere? I think I have a fence somewhere. Um, which is fine if I have a fence somewhere. I think I do. Fence. I have a fence. 
so at some point right since i've been doing this so so long uh, you get to the point where you where you've modeled pretty much everything at some point and then you then just find it and then uh, no yeah it's true i know maybe i can just add it right maybe i'll just show you how it's done so yeah project settings uh, this one over here Enter, and then you find play mode, 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 first play mode. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Let's have a look. So this is not final yet, right? This is still experimental. So you know it's, it's a little faster, right? So it actually plays faster instead of, so I'll show you, right? So let's count, like this is one second, maybe. You have to turn it off again. Let's do this again, turn it off. You see right the difference. It's a that's a difference. Um, the reason why it's actually happening because when you hit play, uh, everything gets reloaded by default. It's a kind of annoying. Um, so this is more like, um, but this is still you see what it's ex experimental. So it can crash. Doesn't say it have to, but it can crash. So be careful that you don't you know, go overboard. So I'm gonna find my fence. Where's my fence? Props fence. Fence. I have a fence. Blue fence, I'm gonna turn off for a second those effects. Okay. That's a really big fern, I'm gonna delete it. Fuck it. I don't like you anymore. So if I wanna do it first is I wanna actually add a box collider straight away. So now I'm gonna duplicate it. everything will have a box collider. I'm also gonna be rather busy by adding them non-stop. So let's see how this goes. I wanna make it go a little bit here probably. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Let's be a little bit higher though. And this is the part usually where I start uh, talking to myself when I'm just all alone and not streaming. This is the part where I just start talking to myself. I'm, I'm probably not the only one. That you just keep on like, yeah, no, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do yeah, I, I had that idea uh, when you started talking about those settings and stuff. I kind of had a hunch. Because that's not something first year would say. <laughs> or second year. Even. So let's do this here as well. Maybe I probably need to finish my terrain here. Maybe nah, like this. See how much, it, how much it, it adds, right? By just adding a fence here. Makes a little bit more. It fills it up. It fills the entire scene up. No, 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 no. This is just for, for fun. My, uh, what I've done for my, well, uh, you don't want to know what I've done for my master degree. I can maybe show you real fast. So, there it is. So, what I've done for my, my master degree, something is, um, is this. So it consists of nothing but typing, 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 <laughs> and for the APA list. So that's my master thesis. Um, uh, we're not obliged to do, use Dutch, but it's very much encouraged um because they say that they're good at english right the teachers that i've that are teaching me but from what i can read from their english and how they speak english they're not that good so uh, and they'll probably like feel me because my english is better than theirs so that's why i chose to be dutch but then again my dutch is awful because i hate dutch it's like uh devil's dilemma <laughs> which language do i use yeah. so yeah but yeah, it's in Dutch. Well, and that one, and what you just saw, right? There was only the half of my thesis, literally only half. So yeah, because now I, I yes half. Now I'm working on my next part, which is an ontwerp onderzoek, 
Wait, she is. Typing, 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 typing. Typing, 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 typing. Flowcharts. Ooh. And typing, 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 typing. So, yeah. Yay, Master Green. I'm so dumb with it, to be honest. I just want to get a six. So dumb with it. Honestly. This is kind of nice. I like this. This this feels very um, relaxing, you know. This, this nice form that this guy has made, you know. A wife, man, woman, I don't know. It just looks nice. You just add stuff in here, you know. It doesn't, it doesn't have to make any sense. Um, but it just looks pretty. I'm going to see what it looks like now. See now it's it's coming together right, it's filling up, the scene is filling up right now. And now I'm actually gonna get there to the point like hey this actually starts looking like an actual village. Um and until that part you actually get there right it always feels like mm -hmm. Yeah I know, I know, I know, I know. So yeah, I, I'm 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 I've spent the entire year doing research, literally the entire year doing research. And there's a stage where you get to your point where you're like, you know what, I'm just, I just, I just know, you know. He's like, no, nah, no, nah. I don't, I don't want to do this anymore. And I'm, I'm at that stage. <laughs> Aww. Do you want to talk about it? Let's add one more fence here. Goes through everything, but uh, okay. Ooh, I'm gonna make one. Okay, let's just have one here that's like falling over because there was a um, stampede that happened here, of course, by uh, angry geese that just. Uh, so, you want to add audio, right? So, back on music, you can just add uh, empty audio. You want to add audio source here, you want to pick this clip. Do I have one? Oh, I have one. Oh, the inception wow. Probably don't hear it. Did you, did you guys hear that? <laughs> I love that bob so much. It's so cool. I'm gonna throw it in here. There. <laughs> I don't know. Geese can actually. Uh, yeah, that's weird actually what yours, uh, uh, but that's a script, probably script issue, because when I hit play here, oh, it's probably uh, not have it on game or for, uh -huh. it should not disappear at all. See, mine is there, so, yeah. Okay. Now, uh, when I hit play, right, it's just... Yeah, the first year Discord, right? The, if you could add it to the second year, like the overall CMDG Discord, then. And there are, there are a lot of uh, programs that could probably help you. But this is the only thing I've done, right? I just drag it in here and just pick a clip. Uh, I'm gonna add wind here. Just, that's it. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you guys can hear it. Yeah, but yeah. I'm not gonna undo this, undo, let's undo this. Yeah, Tristan could probably help you. Uh, <laughs> Lapis Lazuli 99. <laughs> I just, I love your, your names by the way, all on Twitch, they're amazing. And like, I, I, I've, I have no idea who I'm talking to, but you're, you're all amazing people, to be honest. Cool, I like this. It's not perfect. Not perfect at all, but we're getting we're, we're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. Okay, so I'm gonna grab see if I can get the poly brush to work. So I'm gonna get a geometry. I'm gonna grab this one. Preview size. There we go. Uh huh. Uh huh. 
I am probably can't do this because we are using the terrain makes sense. It's kind of annoying. But I'm first going to make it a little more organized again. Fences are props, so they go to where are props. Props, there's no props. And rock and rocks. Props should be in geo as well. There we go. Props. Organized. Yeah, paste it in the second year uh, Discord. Or the general Discord. A little bit easier. Mm, maybe I don't want. I I really don't like this street now. I'm gonna delete it. I'm gonna find a new one. Maybe I'm gonna place it like vegetation. What if I add one here? Does that make sense? Yeah. Oh, I got an error. What? No, I don't. Did I just click on something? Weird shit. It's all good. That tree looks really stupid. I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that. That looks really stupid. Probably just add something else here. So I, I want to show, show you something cool, right? I want to show you how to do like cloth waving in the wind. It's really cool. Because um, that brings life, right, to the scene. So I'm going to find my, I've got a banner here somewhere. Props, banner, I'll throw it in here. Banner, there we go. Okay. Materials, this one is probably, ooh, yeah. Can I go upgrade this? I cannot. HTRP lit. There we go. Mm -hmm. I want it to be transparent. So I'm going to turn off clipping. By the way, it's all spells now. So if you want to turn something transparent, right, you can either go here transparent. The same way you get this really annoying border here. That's mm -hmm. so I want to turn it off. I'm going to go for alpha clipping, which means I just it just cuts off certain parts. Now you can change this a little bit more here. There you go. So again. Just find the setting over here and then you can see that it actually disappears. So it's really helpful to know. Uh, so if you want to have something cut out, like grass, leaves, hair, for example, as well, you will use alpha, alpha, alpha clipping. And if you want to have like transparent stuff like water, um, clouds, whatever, then use transparency. But for now, I just want to use uh, this and now uh, post. Which one do I have here? Wood. This beautiful wood. There's no wood at all. Throw it in there a little, little fast. Wood and normal. Okay, and then metal. Uh, this one, I think. I don't know. This one, I think. Oh, oh I already did that. Oh, okay, cool. Okay. So you can actually add cloth here, right? So you can actually ha add, if you go here, uh, physics and I'm saying cloth, right? It's cloth. Um, and you can actually set here the markers, for example. Oh, I, oh, I did it on the wrong one. Oops, never mind. It needs to be on my flag. <laughs> Not on my post, but on my flag here. So again, add cloth, physics, cloth. Uh, but it, to make this work, you need quite a few vertices to actually get it to work. So I'm going to click here on constraints. You can find these. These are going to be my uh, balls that can't move. That sounds so weird. These ones, so this should actually be um, constrained in this case. Uh, so that set is set, and then hit play and see what it actually does. See? Oh, it falls. I'm gonna turn this off again. Next one is on play. There we go. So what's gonna happen right now is that it'll just fall, right? But it's not actually moving in the wind. You can actually add here. I'm gonna find this again. Cloth, 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 cloth. 
let's, let's add some wind here. Can you see it's nice flowing in the wind, right? Um, let's do some set here as well, because we can. So, so right now it's still going through the actual mesh, that's fine for now. So I'm gonna find it back in my scene here, I'm gonna add a constraints again. So the distance here, I wanna set it to zero. So no zero, no distance at all. Max distance zero. Got you can just click here, so it's the same thing. So see what happens. Should not jump anymore. Still jumps. Motherfucker. Don't jump. Uh it's cloth, 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 cloth. Stretching stiffness one. Mm-hmm. Wow, hey, where did my all my vertices go? Mm -hmm. There you go. Just give it one more time. Contrast. There we go. Oh, wow, shit. Oh, big fat error. AABB means uh, it's completely broke, so I'm gonna turn it off. I think I broke my entire Unity. <laughs> oh, I didn't break. Oh, oh god, I think I broke Unity. It's all good. I broke Unity. I broke Unity. Um, but you can add cloth here. Uh, let's try it one more time here. Uh, can I undo this? What if I turn this off? Okay. Remove components. So one more time. So I'm gonna add cloth here. I want to add my constraints in this case. So I'm gonna set it to zero, max distance of zero. I'm gonna select them a little easier. There we go. Uh, I don't want to have yeah use tears. I want to maybe a little bit damping here and I mean random. Actually, random acceleration on some x, maybe x and y and z a little bit. I want to add a collider here, so I'm gonna add a collision here. So that means that we can actually have a collide with the actual flag post. So I'm gonna grab this bad boy. I'm gonna add a capsule collider here because it actually demands a capsule collider. Let's set the radius a little bit smaller. That's uh, okay. Then I can just drag it in here. So my flag post. Here we go. Let's see what actually what happens now. Please don't die. It just fucks off. He's like, you know what? I'm not gonna do that. What if it do zero? I think I really broke guarantee today. Yep. Wow. I I broke unity. Amazing. Yes. Max distance zero. Wow, well, come on. Let's see, okay, that's fine, okay. Things crossed. Ah, I didn't break anything, woo! So, cloth, you know, it just gently blows in the wind. Let's add, again, the collider here, so it actually doesn't hit here. I mean, cloth is a little bit of a, like a like a fickle, fickle thing, you know, have to be a little bit careful. Uh, a little bit less damping, maybe. Oh, it still works. Nice. See, now it just adds a little bit of dynamic, the dynamicism, dynamic, I don't know. Just adds dynamics to the actual scene. Maybe a little bit like on a minus. Okay, you don't want to go that far probably. Still I don't know where X is coming from, so it's like back. Okay, let's not do that, let's do zero, let's maybe, yes, that's cool. That's cool, okay, maybe a little bit less here, minus three. 
So minus three. So that's one thing you might as well, right? When you actually change stuff in the play mode, um, when you exit play mode, everything will be disregarded. So then you have to do it again. So keep that in mind. Uh, that you don't change stuff in play mode because you have to do it again. You cry, you know. I'll, I'll think it's funny as fuck, but you probably don't. See, nice cloth. It's very simple, uh, but it actually looks looks really good. And maybe you want to add some little bit like random stuff in here, like random acceleration here, like uh, one, 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 maybe. So you make it a little bit more um, alive, you know, again, but yeah, it's up to you, of course, how to do that. It's so cool. Maximize. Just gently blowing in the wind. Oh my god, that's pretty good. What's like like missing still though is the actual like wind of the trees going back and forth. That's what I'm actually really missing right now. Because it's still static as hell. I mean, right now there's only one thing actually moving, that's this piece of cloth here. It's just barely moving either, it's like I'm just gonna dangle a little bit. So maybe we wanna go a little bit more extreme here, what if I create a storm in the town. Just randomly like... Maybe a little bit too much here, let's do 20, I don't know, 20, 20, I think 20. Minus 20. That's kind of cool, actually. What if we do... Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. This should go up then. Of course, it doesn't do much, probably. So, I'm, I'm, I'm still in play mode, right? What I can do here, I'm just going to hit the right, right click and then copy component. And now it's done. You can just paste component values and then we'll actually save the values. A little bit of a little bit dirty, so when you play mode, uh, copy component, and then when you exit it, paste component value, so then you can actually save it while doing this. That's kind of a nice trick, if you want, if you know about it. God, yeah, it looks pretty good, actually. It just makes it a little, little bit more alive by just adding something in, in there that actually moves, which is kind of nice. Of course, we also have like water in here, or we're going to have water in here. Got to turn it back on. Kind of look stupid, probably, but it does look stupid. But they will also move, so they will also add a little bit of motion towards the actual scene, so it makes it feel less dead on the inside. Hmm. Kind of cool. So I'm gonna pay my, I'm gonna grab my train here. What if I can add a tree here? I'm gonna not add a tree here, but I'm gonna add my. I'm gonna find something, maybe dead grass, no. Yeah, sure. Add. Whoop. Ferns. Lots and lots of ferns. Uh, maybe a little bit too much, probably a little bit too much. So density, this one, I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller here. Uh, color variation, sure, let's do that. It's way too much. Click, click. So I'm just using a prefab here to actually paint on it. You can use any prefab you have. Um, you can. You don't have to, of course, but you can. So I'm also going to add some grass here. And there was a nice grass somewhere. That grass. Hmm. Do I have a regular grass? I do have a regular grass. Grass, Jesus Christ. Oh, just a smidge. Doesn't work apparently. No. Oof. This doesn't work, that's too bad. Goodbye. This one maybe? Yep, this one works. Nice. Okay. So I'm, I'm just Pretending that, pretending that this is a tree, right? That's it. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. I'm just pretending that this is a tree. I 
Okay, I'll click here and there. Just keep in mind if you don't add too much here because this will ruin your laptop slash PC, whatever you have, whatever you're using. This is killer if you add too much. So gently, right? Hi. Oh God, that looks so ugly. What's going on here? Hmm. Hmm. I'm not a fan, but no, yeah, no. Yeah. I'm just going to delete them. I don't really like them. I'm not a fan. I'm going to delete my beautiful leaves here. There you go. I'll just do it manually, probably. Cool. So one thing that I want to do as well, right? Um, I want to start thinking about optimization a little bit. So I mean, and there's this golden rule that if it doesn't move, you make it static. So all my buildings, I'm gonna about my parent object. I'm gonna click static over here, which means that everything uh, as a child also becomes static. And and it just means for the engine that it can batch things together. That's what they call. So you have to give a number on this one over here. Set passes. Uh, these are your batches. Batch please. Uh, and the lower it is, the better it will be for your final system. So like all the rocks here, I can also just set to static. Change tri children, uh, foliage, I mean, no, because I want to I want to make the move. Props also make it static. So anything that does move, you set to set to static, pretty much everything. So I actually save three batches, uh, but there are some other things that you can tweak as well. Uh, one of them is called instance GPU instancing. Come on over here. Material you can turn on enable GPU instance instancing. Jesus Christ, they'll actually save a lot of uh, power as well. So keep that in mind. Uh, if you can use it, definitely, uh, because then it will actually become an instance on the GPU instead of on the CPU, and then it's just faster to use. So try to keep it in mind. So I think it's a little bit crowded here. I don't like the space, but uh, it's okay. It's okay. I still think this part of here is a little bit empty though. Maybe I'm gonna add one tree over here. Again, this is just gut feeling, right? This is just uh, artistic freedom. You can't say, okay, there, need to, there needs to be a tree there because science dictates that something, something, something. Not how it works. Um, so. What if? Oh, I kind of like that though, but it does kind of ruin the landmark here. It does look good though. What if I make it a little bit smaller? Just a tiny happy tree. That's better. That is better actually. A little bit bigger. So that actually that's, that, that still save, saves the shape. Of my of my landmark here, but it still breaks it a little bit. I like that. That's actually cool. Okay, I'm gonna add one here as well. Empty space. I don't like empty space, so I'm gonna add pine tree, pine tree. Maybe one more. Whoa, Jesus Christ! That's a big tree. It's a little bit too big. And one bendy one. One bendy boy. So let's hit play. That's nice. That that fills out a little bit. It becomes more like a uh, mountain village, if you know what I mean. I like it. Maybe I can add one here. Maybe. I don't know. Hmm. Let's find out. What if? I'm gonna ruin my building with that or about to make it look pretty. Hmm. I kinda like the skull shape though of my, my building. I mean of course I since I'm, I made it of course, but oh that actually works. Maybe a little bit to the left. Maybe a little bit more. There we go. That's cool. I like that. That's cool. Kind of want to add one here as well. 
Now I'm treating it up. I kind of want to go further here. Maybe if I add like a bendy boy over here. Doesn't make any sense, but fuck it, you know. Oh, other way, other way around. Hmm. Hmm. I'm not sure. Hello. Hmm, I don't like this tree. I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. I'll think about it. Maybe we could add a bush here, you know, because that's uh, because uh, it makes sense, you know, since it's a. Uh, ooh, what was that? Did you see that? That was awesome. The fuck is that? That was pretty cool. You know, gonna add a bush here as well. More bushes. Bush. That's a big bush. Jesus fucking Christ. A little smaller. Thank you. What are you even? Oof. I don't like that bush. That's a big bush. Jesus Christ, that's huge. No. Uh, don't want trees. Let's not do, let's do this one. Bush. See, that's a nice, that's, that's so sad. So it's a tiny one. Maybe we can add some clovers here, that would be nice actually. We can make a clover field. Sorry. Horrible pun. But correct. Okay, one more. I'm gonna rotate a little bit to break the repetition. Petit peu, there you go. It's just like just to break up the actual ground because I don't really like the ground. I, I mean, I like the ground, but jeez, that's you. Ooh, that's big. Just gotta have one here. Let's do one more. And I'm just checking to see if, if I'm not actually floating. You know, that, that's the only thing I'm doing here. Maybe a little bit lower. That's it. Yeah, you should. Pro Builder is actually a really cool tool. Again, rotate to back up the repetition. I think that's okay. Have a quick look. See if you can see them even. That's a really ugly bush. I'm going to delete that one. The clothes all look, look pretty good. Yeah, Pro Builder is actually actually a really nice tool to create um, simple block art, you know, simple levels. It's actually really good for. Yeah. For those who don't know, you can actually download it from the package manager and uh, Pro Builder. This one. It's like a modeling program inside Unity. You can uh, extrude, bridge, delete. That's that sort of stuff. It actually works really well. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Uh, let's do my foliage in here. There we go. Thank you. I want to kind of create like one last thing before I go drink beer. Um, I have a little bit of life in here, right? Because it's really boring. So, what if there are like flies? Yeah. Maybe I'm gonna make some flies here. Some quick dirty flies. Hi. Let's do a box. Let's do a 50. No, that's too much. Oh, jeez. 20. So they can do it with the top of this one as well. You can just click here. Then the, 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 then the viewport turns uh, uh, orthographic, which means like 2D. Help me out. Uh, 
helpful for aligning stuff. It's actually really helpful. Put that more here. Okay. I'll set the speed to random minus one one. Gonna decide how long will they live. I'm gonna make them a little bit longer. Gonna make it a little bit smaller. Point one, sign a new material. Let's go, let's go. Default particle. That one. See how small they are right now. Super small. I can't see shit. Still can't see shit. Okay, I'm gonna get black. And oh, you wait a minute. So it looks like holy shit. <laughs> that was not what I'm looking for. Uh, point one. Maybe I'll add a little bit too much though. Hmm. That could work. I said pre-warm, so they are they are there when the game actually starts. A lot of noise because noise is good. Scroll speed. Let's have a little scroll speed here. And now there are flies. Ooh, what if don't? Let's see what it looks like. Probably a little bit too high, but. So it's a little bit of like life to it, a little bit. My box is too high though, I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller, like eight. Again, send orthographic restart. That's better. Flying thingies. Hmm. It's kind of cool and weird at, weird at the same time. I'm not sure what I, what I think about it, but it does add a little bit of life to the actual scene, which is kind of, kind of what I want. A little bit dynamic di dynamicism, dynamics to the scene to make it feel a little better. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to fill it up a little bit more, right? Um, and then next week we're gonna do some shaders. So I'm actually gonna make like water, proper water, and we're gonna make the trees a little bit like wave, so they actually look like they're in, in, in the wind. So that's gonna be fun. And probably also a, bit, a little bit of C-sharp, uh, so a little bit of interaction in there as well. Um, but mostly we're gonna focus on making things come to life, so making the scene feel alive, because uh, that's what I'm going for. Because right now it's still, I mean, when you play it's still really static. So that's why I've added particles, but you know, it's still, that's only a start, but you want to have the trees move here as well. That sort of, sort of stuff. Thanks. You also want to have like the furniture to move as well. So you want to have everything to move. And right now everything's still like <coughs> static. So next week we're going to do shaders. Make these bad babbles come alive. It's actually, it's not that difficult. Honestly, it's really not that difficult. Um, everybody can do it. And then we're going to focus also a little bit more on lighting because the lighting right now is still really bland, really boring. So next week we're gonna focus that on a little, a little bit as well. So, um, so I'm gonna go for for beer. Uh, you should do the same. Ooh, that looks mournful. Quick try. Oh, that is awful. Oh, that's a nice morning. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go for beer. Uh, no, this is the HCRP. What I'm, what, what I'm using. Yeah, it's the, it's the building render, yeah. That's the uh, building render. Ish. Give, it, give or take. Um, and I'm, I just use it because it just looks better. It's, it's way easier to get a nice nice results using the ACRP than the standard one. I mean, you, you could achieve the same uh, effect, but it's going to be a little bit more difficult. So. Um, have a nice weekend. Stay healthy. And then uh, next week we're going to do the same thing, same time, same place. So thanks for, for being here and then uh, adios.